took my, my rocker phone, I put it on airport, airplane mode, turned off the radio, played music from Atlanta to San Francisco, got off, turned on the radio again, took a one-hour conference call, went to the hotel, made three or four more calls, let the phone sit at my night table overnight, picked it up this morning, the battery was still full. The battery was still full. It's a terrific product, and I think you're going to be very happy, very happy with it. So, what is Singular going to do now? We're going to get the word out. And we're going to get the word out in a way that I think is going to be awesome. We're going to have the best advertising campaign, I think, that we have ever launched. And we're going to do it with the concept of what happens when you put music and communications together. We're going to do it outdoors. We're going to do it on TV. We're going to do it indoors. We're going to do it on print. And you're going to get a preview in the next few minutes. So let's see if you can catch and get the meeting behind the convergence of music and phones with this next set of outdoor ads. Are you ready? All right, let's see if you get the first. First one's easy. Now you can get kiss and tell. <laughs> they get tougher, guys. They get tougher. Let's see who gets the next one. With, with iTunes and Singular, you can now get Smash Blabbermouth. <laughs> now, if you didn't get this one, it's okay. It's just a segment kind of thing. <laughs> and then finally, Matthew Sweet Talk. Huh? <laughs> it's terrific. Now, let, let me tell you what, we have, what you're going to see next. You're going to see three television commercials that are start playing tomorrow. Not one, you're going to see three that are going to be in the mass market. So we're not just going to be outdoor. We're going to hit the market with three commercials. And guess what? Not just in English, but also in Spanish. And I wonder why they got the Spanish influence kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> so what I want to do is roll the next three commercials, watch it, and see if you get the idea of, of communications and music coming together. Let's roll them. So I'll just make this a little more obvious Cause I get what I want and I want you to get with me You can't stop this feeling You can't run away Hey Yeah, great. Bye. The world's first phone with iTunes. A hundred songs to go only from Singular. Raising the bar. What's up? Got it. Bye. The world's first phone with iTunes. A hundred songs to go only from Singular. Raising the bar. Perfecto. Chao. El primer teléfono en el mundo con iTunes. Llévate 100 canciones. Solo de Singular. Adelante. So I wanted to leave you one last thought. We showed you outdoors. We showed you a TV. And I wanted to leave you with one last thought. What you're going to see in magazines as you open them. This you would have never been able to say before. But beginning today, you're going to be able to say it in all of our print ads. Let me read it to you. That from now on, Elvis may have left the building, but now you can get him on the phone. <laughs> so, let me conclude by saying that uh, we have a world-class phone from Motorola running on a world-class network from Singular with a world-class application from Apple and iTunes, and I'm very, very proud and very enthusiastic about bringing it to this country. Thank you for the Apple team. It's been great to work with you. Same thing with Motorola. And Steve, thank you for letting me be a part of this. Thank, thank you, you, Ralph.
You know, I especially want to thank Ralph for coming today. Ralph, uh, as you know, is uh, the chief operating officer of Singular. He's in charge of all of the uh, rebuilding of the cellular infrastructure down in Louisiana and some of the other states. And uh, he took time off from a massively busy schedule to come here. So thank you, Ralph. Thanks. So this phone is hitting the market. They're going to be in stores this weekend, brought to you by Motorola, Singular, and Apple. So now, I'd like to talk a little bit about iPod. I'd like to give you an update on iPod first. Uh, as you know, as of the end of last quarter, that's the end of June, we had sold almost 22 million iPods. And uh, with 6.2 million of them being sold in the June quarter alone. That's a pretty big number. It's hard to to really place that and get a perspective on it. Well, let me compare it to another very successful consumer product, the Sony PSP. Uh, I, the iPod sold six, over six million last quarter. Uh, the Sony PSP worldwide sold two. So again, just to, uh, to give us some perspective, six million is a, places the iPod really very high in volume uh, of any consumer product out there. And that's one of the reasons that as an example in the US it enjoys a market share of 74% for all uh, MP3 players of any kind. Uh, that's July data, the most recent data that we have. Now today I want to give you uh, specifically an update on, uh, on the accessories for iPod. You know there's over a thousand accessories for iPod out there now? Between speakers and cases and car adapters, over a thousand accessories for iPod. And I want to focus really on just one area of them today, which is automotive. It's one of the most important areas because everybody wants to listen to their iPod in their car. And so we've been working with automotive manufacturers now for a few years, and many of them have announced iPod connectivity in their car.